hi guys uh, welcome to my channel audio video and music entertainment in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to access your CCTV digital video recorder from outside your network uh, so basically uh, uh, the main reason for doing that is if you guys go on holiday then how to access your uh, CCTV digital video recorder uh, from your Android device or iPhone or iPad basically from any mobile device from outside your network uh, to see the live view of all your cameras installed uh, now I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step method on the computer screen and uh, sh gonna show you how to configure it okay I see you guys on the computer screen cheers alright guys uh, I assume that you have already configured your DVR uh, CCTV digital video recorder on your local area network or on your home network uh, once you have done that then go ahead and access it either via uh, uh, via connecting uh, a monitor to it and a keyboard and mouse or via uh, a computer so I'm just gonna access or demonstrate uh, today using a computer so I've already assigned a local uh, uh, IP address to my CCTV system which is 192.168.0.100 the media port to access it is 9000 for the particular DVR system I have and uh, I've already assigned it a username and password so just gonna go ahead and access it the first time you're setting it up you need to connect a monitor to it and a keyboard and a mouse and then you, that's how you configure it and uh, usually it's well documented uh, this video is not about uh, the initial setup of uh, CCTV system. This video is about uh, accessing the CCTV DVR from outside your network while you are on holidays. Okay, so once you put all these details, just click on login. As you can see, there are three cameras and uh, I can access or view them uh, remotely. But at the moment, I'm uh, inside my house. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to configure it uh, the way in a way that I could uh, access it from my Android device from outside my network while I'm holy um, while I'm on holidays. Okay, click on remote settings. It could be different on your DVR system. And uh, first thing you need to configure is obviously the network and uh, just assign it an IP address according to your primary routers uh, network and uh, make sure you assign the DNS uh, uh, details here and uh, this is really important UPnP this needs to be enabled and whatever media port uh, just put it there mine is 9000 and uh, a subnet mask is 24 bit which is 255.255.255 default gateway now this is the IP address uh, of your router uh, on the LAN side of your router uh, so this is the inside IP address of your primary router. Just put it here. Bandwidth, mine maximum goes up to uh, 1 meg. So I've just put 1 megabits per second here. And mobile port, this is really important. So just make a note of it. Uh, for my uh, uh, system, DVR system, the CCTV system is 18004. Web port, you can just assign anything 80, 85, 90, it's up to you. I've just assigned 85 for this demonstration, but this is the uh, default one provided by your uh, manufacturer or or you, you could assign anything here as well. It's it's You just need to make sure that you are aware of what you have put in your DVR uh, recorder settings. So I've just put 18004. Uh, but I'll recommend uh, using the uh, default uh, recommended by your manufacturer. Okay, once you have put all this information, just click on apply. Next thing is you're going to create users. So like let's say you are two people, your girlfriend or yourself, or uh, you've got like parents you want to give access to, or anybody, your friend or whatever. Uh, just Just create... Uh, as many accounts as your DVR allows. My DVR allows up to seven accounts. Uh, so for this demonstration, I'm just going to use the admin account. And uh, if you want to create a new account, just click on user, enable it, and then just name it anything here, test, 
for example, the password, you could put test, and then you can uh, assign that user what they can do on the DVR. Uh, you just want to limit them to display or you uh, allow uh, them access to record uh, or uh, change the network settings or not? Uh, could they search the video playbacks or could they do hardware, hard drive management? Can they change alarm settings or not? You know, different things. So you can limit the users or you can allow super users full access. Once you have created that user, uh, obviously you need if you want to assign a password enable it and put the password here as well okay uh, to confirm it and just click on apply uh, once you have done this setting second thing what you need to do is uh, configure your router so once you are on holiday like let's suppose in Spain in a hotel and you want to access your uh, DVR system then how could your router uh, main router forwards the data to your DVR and back to uh, you or your device in Spain. How that is possible? So uh, we're going to have to open some ports and stuff. So once the data comes from outside your home network, then it's forwarded to uh, your DVR system. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so go ahead, log on to your router. My router IP address is this. I've already logged on. And uh, my port forwarding settings are under security. Your could be under any other tab or menu. So just go ahead, click on that. And here you need to add rule. Uh, so basically in my instance, I need to open three ports. If I wanna access my CCTV DVR system via web, then I need to open port 85. Uh, and I need to put the local side of uh, local side IP address of my DVR system. So I'm just going to put 192.168.0.100. This is the local side IP address of my DVR system, uh, CCTV system. Uh, and to access it via mobile devices, the port I assigned inside my DVR was 18004, which obviously was here, if you remember. There you go, this is the port, mobile port. This is really important. Media port is 9000 and web port is 85. So I'm gonna open all these three ports to this IP address inside my router. So 192.168.0.100, local start port, end port. I don't wanna add anything else, end port. If, if you wanna like, let's say, open range of ports, then you can just put six here and it will open 18004, 5, and 6, three ports. Okay, but I just wanna open this external, is this as well, and and is this. Uh, protocol, TCP or UDP, I'm just gonna leave both on and enable and then add the rule. So as you can see, I have opened three different ports here, 18004 to access my DVR from mobile devices. Uh, outside my network. Now what happens is this, I'll explain it to you. Now you, uh, in order to configure properly on your mobile device app, uh, you need to find your public IP address. So just go ahead, put in Google my public IP address and press enter. F once you are connected to your home network. Okay, so this is your public IP address, make a note of it somewhere okay I've already made a note of it so there you go you need to uh, make a note of this okay and then just minimize this once you have added all these rules just apply changes and basically you are done on the computer uh, settings or and the DVR settings now you need to uh, do the settings on your mobile device which I'll show you on the uh, Android phone so I'll see you guys on the Android screen. Listen okay, so guys, so what you do is, uh, once you have done all that configuration, you go to Swan View app, you open the app, or whatever app you guys have, and uh, basically then you need to configure it. Oops, sorry, and uh, just gonna open the app again. So you go here, 
on the settings tab I've already configured it but I'll show you exactly then you click on edit and so here you can name your device anything I've just named it home now obviously this IP address I already showed you how to get this IP address this is the public IP address and uh, obviously I showed you uh, in the routing settings how this address is forwarding uh, <clears throat> the data to your uh, CCTV DVR uh, now the mobile port for my particular CCTV is 18004 and uh, the username to access it which I already showed you how to create the username and password and I put the password maximum channels I want to view is 4 once I've done all this configuration I'll click on OK and click on back back again and <clears throat> by doing this I'm receiving my live image of my house okay guys uh, hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video then please click on the like icon and i'll keep making good av and uh, it videos thank you bye